Good afternoon. The current discussion reviews an article in this month's journal by Dr. Rawson and colleagues from Johns Hopkins examining the effect of radiation on quality of life throughout the breast reconstruction process. The study has two principal findings. First, the authors found that patients who underwent radiation have lower health-related quality of life in a variety of breast reconstruction parameters compared to those patients who did not receive radiation. Second, patients who specifically underwent tissue or flap-based methods of breast reconstruction compared to implants were able to avoid some of the negative side effects associated with radiation. The relevant information for patients to know from this study is that although radiation can decrease health-related quality of life for those who choose breast reconstruction, some of its negative side effects can be avoided when tissue methods of breast reconstruction are chosen. Thus, for women who potentially need radiation, this is an additional factor to consider when deciding upon a method of breast reconstruction. Importantly, these findings do not suggest that patients who need radiation shouldn't choose implants. As all forms of breast reconstruction are associated with a greater health-related quality of life compared to no reconstruction at all. The study findings highlight the need for patients to work with their plastic surgeon in a shared decision-making process to develop a reconstructive approach that aligns with their individual goals and oncologic regimens. The author study is commendable since patients were followed prospectively from the time prior to their mastectomy till one year following their reconstruction. This allowed the authors to compare a patient's baseline breast satisfaction with the actual impact or changes from radiation and reconstruction. One potential criticism of the author study is the difference in baseline characteristics of the radiated and non-radiated patient subgroups. For example, patients who received radiation were more likely to undergo delayed reconstruction rather than immediately at the time of their mastectomy. The impact of this difference on the final measured outcomes is difficult to determine. The current research findings answer some questions but also generate new ones. A potential future study would be to compare satisfaction of patients who undergo immediate reconstruction with tissue followed by radiation compared to those who receive radiation first followed by delayed tissue reconstruction at a later date. On the one hand, radiation following a tissue transfer may make the breast mound less soft. On the other hand, delayed reconstruction will leave a patient without a breast mound for perhaps one year's time. The introduction of patient reported outcome measures has improved our ability to measure the impact of treatment on health-related quality of life. Much remaining work needs to be completed to effectively counsel our patients. Thank you very much.